Beautiful, yes, yes. Bellissimo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Just been buying stuff to blow shit up. The heavier they are, the more gunpowder there is. The backyard bash. <laughs> the back Is it too cold? It's um... Yeah. Oh, oh, you like that, do you? Oh, oh, you like that. <laughs> 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 out of the Northern Territory or around about 30 k's out of the Northern Territory. We've just left Lake Argyle. We were just discussing it. Um, pretty epic feat of engineering. Engineering? Ingenuity? Engineering? <laughs> is but it too early for you? A little. Um, but what I will say is there's not <laughs> there's not that much there to do. So um, two days in my opinion is enough if you're on a, on a strict time schedule. We did three. It was nice just to have a rest day yesterday and do a bit of van maintenance and those sorts of things. So um, it's a bit sad though. We've been in the Northern Territory. Oh, sorry. No, we've been in WA for three months and two it's weeks. It's really sad. We've lo absolutely loved our time in WA. Yeah. Yeah. It's an amazing state. Um, you've probably seen all the YouTubes and those sorts of things, but. Um, You've got to get yourself over here. Um, my top three, uh, number one, Ningaloo Reef. Um, I just can't reiterate enough how amazing Exmouth and the Ningaloo area and Charles Knife and the Cape Range National Park is just like God's country. It's probably my favorite place in Australia now. Mate, that or Fraser Island, but anyway. Um, pretty amazing place. Number two. Sorry. <laughs> number two. It's a hard one. Um, the southwest was another amazing place. It had so much variation, so I'll probably say that came in it. It's really hard because then we've got the Pilbara and the Kimberley. So the Kimberley's probably the most picturesque place, but it was also the most remote, um, the most uh, stressful in terms of damage to cars and vans and those. Not that we had any major damage either. It's just. Uh, you're on edge a little bit more because you, you're constantly driving corrugated roads and those sorts of things. I don't know, it's really hard to say, but Ningaloo sits on top. Um, so pretty, come on, get to, just get to the point. So Ningaloo one, number two. Uh, southwest, now Margaret River, Esperance, all those areas. Right, number three. Pilbara. Yeah, but what in the Pilbara? All of it. <laughs> okay. Karajuni was amazing. Um, Coastal towns are amazing. Wailu Way Drive was epic. Stations are cool. Yeah. Okay. Kimberley was unreal too, though. That's not even in the top three. Ooh. Anyway. Yeah. For nature, Kimberley was two behind England. What about you? So, me, I would go. God. I would go. Ningaloo Reef area, Exmouth was amazing, number one. Um, I would do Kalbari. Oh, yeah. Kalbari is two. That's probably southwest. Esperance and those amazing um, beaches. Well, oh, actually, no, I think that might have to be two. I don't know how I even forgot Esperance, about Esperance. Esperance, two. Kalbari, three. And then. Anyway, 
Just go to WA, seriously. Something like that. It's amazing, you, just go there. You Jeez, can't, we're rambling now. You can't go wrong. Yeah. Um, and do the whole lot. The only place we didn't go was Kalgoorlie, unfortunately. That would have been good, but time didn't permit for us to get up to Horizontal Falls and um, out to Meekathara and places like that. But other than that, we've basically done all the populated WA in three and a half months. Yeah. I need a lie down. <laughs> On to the NT. See you in the Woo! NT. She's on the prowl. There's rocks there. Oh. Four rocks. <laughs> I'll give you a big note. Beautiful hot springs. That was a river. You do it. Go with the camera. That's <laughs> a limbo. Easy, mate. Right, here we are at Edith Falls. Or oh, Lelin. Lelin. Um, we're just trying to work out where to go. So it's meant Which to be one really. Which one are we going to do? Which one are we going to do, maybe? I don't know. It's either 2.8k loop or 8.6k return. Mmm, mm, decisions. Decisions. So this access was literally 125 metres from the car park. Looks mint. All right, old Mavo's puffing already, <laughs> but she's a bit of a uh, direct vertical climb. But once we hit that ridge line, just up there, I think she'll be right, mate. We better once we're up the top, mate. If I was a bush ranger, I'd hang out here See the cops coming from a mile away. And then you can see out the shorts. Here you go, adventuring deep into the canyons. Movo's leading the charge. So, we have a piece of sandstone with a tree fossilised all the way through it. That's so cool. Wow. So a hot tip with Edith Falls, it is very rocky, so definitely, definitely wear your shoes or your boots, no thongs or crocs. <clears throat> okay, here we are in the upper pools of Edith Falls. Someone lost their hat. <clears throat> Very, very slippery. Should have brought my water shoes.
All right, we're going to continue the loop. What did you think, maybe? Beautiful. It is beautiful. I've got to say it's one of uh, my favourite falls, to be honest. If you think about the bottom, the walk up here was really pretty, and then the top falls, other than the fact that it was really cold. Um, <laughs> I didn't get in. I reckon this might go in the top five of our falls and gorges. Yeah? Yeah, it's pretty good. It is pretty good. It's the best one in the Northern Territory so far. Yep. Well and truly. Because there's actual water running. <laughs> so critical. <laughs> Look, she's getting the gear off. Look at this. <clears throat> what a mint vantage point. So we've got top pool, the main top falls, then what they call the top pool, and then literally just through this gorge here is the main falls which cascades down to where we started from what a beautiful <laughs> this place would be mint from the air imagine it on a helicopter trip or a drone trip anyway no drones there's just so many levels of water look at the there's another top pool over there mint um, spot don't fall off a little maybe Just followed a dirt track to Dundee Beach. Um, so we're a little bit further down, I guess, southwest of uh, the main town. Yeah, it's just up there. Just up there. Yeah, it looks like people have been driving through here, though. <clears throat> See if we can find some crocs. Croc's gonna get you, mate. Yeah. You gotta be careful on the crocodile. They're just saying that, um, one, it's a pity it's so murky and milky, you can't really see, otherwise it'd be beautiful. And then there's five, six metre crocs just swimming around, so it'd be best to be a little bit careful. Here we are, Matt from Mad Explorers and uh, old Mavo. <laughs> Reckon she's gonna catch a barra. So what I'm gonna do is get the camera set up ready to go for when she does. She's flicking more sand at me than anything. <laughs> oh, look how cool that is. Yeah. To get a photo. And, uh, we've got some free camps right on the bloody Riverbed here, not riverbed. What do you call it? Ocean front. Not a bad little spot. Serious setups in there too. All right, here goes the Barra Queen, ready to cast.
pretty labour intensive this barra fishing. Where's the barra mate? So we are still at Dundee Beach with our uh, mates, the Mad Explorers, and Tina and Dana. They don't have a YouTube channel yet. Oh, I can hardly see you guys because the sun's behind. And it is pizza night. So this is an uni pizza oven from Anaconda. It runs on the same pellets as a pellet barbecue machine. And it's going to be... Pellets go on the little part. Pellets go on the little part. Yeah. It's going to be interesting. Put the lid up. Light the pellets. It'll be Straight in there. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. All right, we'll bring you uh, the results of pizza oven night later on. Chook feed. So it looks like chook feed. What are they? Just Traeger pellets. Yep. These Traeger oak. Traeger, Traeger pellets. Oak pellets. Okay. Far out. Uh, yeah, no, I'm getting a big one. Oh, what are they? Oh, they're the fire they're lighters. They're fire lighters, Woolies. Just bring a couple of them on. Fire them up. Oh. Uh-oh. We, we need a spark. No, we got... Oh. Oh, we got a spark. All right, we've got a spark. That's it. Stick it back in there. And away the pizza oven goes. Let it warm up. Lovely. Yeah. Wow. Check out the pizza production line. Mm. It's all happening. It's all happening. you in the middle. Eh, Mario. You stick it to me with respect. <laughs> <laughs> wow. What's in there at the moment? Uh, another pizza. A a pizza. I'm, not, I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure what it's okay. later. Far out. Hang on a little bit more. Dr. Jimmy. Oh, it looks good. So, what do you just keep turning it yeah, around? Yeah, just turn it around. You can see that's just starting to come this colour. Give it back. Another 40 seconds. It cooks it so quick. Could you chuck this bowl of omelette on a pizza? Yeah. So, so, yes, I reckon that's a great on. idea. Oh, beautiful. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bellissimo. And look who has arrived. Fruit! <laughs> Fruit's come to join us for the night. <laughs> and she's sleeping in the Fruit swag over ready. here. It's all ready to go. All ready to go. Two minutes set up. All ready to go. Ready to eat. So, here's the finished product. And ignore that. Fly shore, I think. <laughs> How good are these? Anaconda. Look at this. Bloody salmon, capsicum, olives, mushrooms. Bloody perfect. I want one of these things. Co pilot today. <laughs> Brito is in charge. We're going to Stingray Heads. Or yeah. actually, going to where are we going first? The Cenotaph. To get because there's some good phone coverage there. And yeah. then we're going to Stingray Heads. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, you can, you can go around and there's like more little sites over here that you can camp on. Look at the apricot colour in this. Mm. Oh, this is a little corolla.
Oh my god, look at that old boat. Oh, there's another one there. Wow, these are weird. Look at these old boats. It's like a bit of a hidden paradise. We saw a few campsites set up on the way up here. I reckon we're a good five, six, maybe even ten k's up the beach. But uh, the mouth of the river should be just around here. Oh, that clay stuff is bizarre. Uh oh. Just found an old CB. Judging by the look of it, it's probably 30, 40 years old. It's got quite a few um, shells and stuff attached to it, so who knows? Wonder where the car is. So here we are at the mouth of the Finnis. I reckon there's going to be salties around here. Actually, I reckon there's a hundred percent chance of being salties around here. The girls here? Uh -oh. They were going some inland track. It's a cracker, isn't it? Oh, cracker. Is that a salty over on the shore? Or is it a log? It is. That's yeah. a salty. Let's that... get the drones. Fuck yeah. That, oh, she's, he's a big fella too. I can oh, that's so good. It's the first time I've actually seen one. Oh, except for at Ivanhoe, but that was fleeting. Big salty. It's a big salty. Hopefully the GoPro's picking her up. It's probably one just here somewhere too. No, I've just been up there. <laughs> Alright, we found the inside track. So we don't have to walk through the mud. Just heading back to the car to grab the drone. Because we're going to try and get some aerial footage of that beautiful big salty. <clears throat> Go through here. I love getting back to the beach and exploring. It's good after being at waterfalls and cliffs and caves for a month. Old Mavo, she's got 13 cameras going. I'm stoked because I just got my first uh, salty on the drone, and I've got managed to get within a couple of meters of him. The guys, the guys are just about to catch three or four barra each and uh, somebody's collecting shells again yeah with your boab earrings <laughs> Brito's giving us information around the around the area like a local tour guide <laughs> and yeah, Tina's just walking in the water where there's croc tracks just wanted to wash your hands <laughs> We've just arrived back at camp and it looks like our awning has collapsed. Oi -ya. She's collapsed all right. What's happened here? No, we had a bit of wind. Way. I actually Ooh. think the corner's given way. Oh, the cor Is it all right? Do we uh, think? Yeah. Corners popped out. Oh. So I'm going to have to. Do you want me to turn off? Yeah. I'm going to have Here, to. Here, brother, you can go pray. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, what do you want me to do? I'm going to. So we're on a mission now. I think. Um, I'm going to wind think... this up. 
pop it back in. Well, it's not going to pop back in, I don't think. Oh, I see. No. Hun, I'm, we're going to have to, I think we're going to have to pull it in. Okay. So, can you just hold this end? Yeah, and you'll drill those out. Yeah. Camping. So much fun. It's, I think it's fixable. Yeah. Oh, we're pulling out the big gums here. We've got the drill coming out. <laughs> if you want to push it up. Yeah. And if you can just take it in terms of holding it there, I think that's fair. Yep. Yeah. <coughs> There's just ants here, so. If I scream, one's bitten me. Toolkit. MacGyver time. <laughs> so, what's happened is that this leg here pops in this way into one of these. It's really delicious uh, into one of these and so that sort of slides along there so I'm going to replace this I'm going to replace this with a metal one and hopefully hopefully that does the job so that just slides in and out like that or does it slide It'd be great if you could work a bit quicker. Excuse me. <laughs> There'll be a domestic here soon. Oh, she just fucking goes and goes and goes. <laughs> Bloody, just like that, she's fixed. Bob's your uncle. Bob's your uncle. Oh. <clears throat> What's it like having a handyman on fixes everything? It's so good. So when you think your awning's broken, you just survey the situation, stay <laughs> cool and calm, get your little toolbox out. <laughs> so we're all packed up at Dundee Beach, ready to hit the road and on into Darwin. Um, this is the servo and the pub over here, um, caravan park there, there's heaps of uh, quad action and all sorts of things. It's actually a really cool spot to have a bit of a break, so <clears throat> thumbs up to Dundee Beach. We had a great time. Three nights is enough, but uh, if you wanted to sit back and relax you could do uh, longer. Good, great feed. Best feed on the road we had last night in the pub, roast lamb, and it was huge. Here we are at Berry Springs. Here's maybe. Uh, it is very, very busy. Like, I hope it's a big springs because there are cars and shit everywhere. Prudhoe's tour guiding us. Mavo's trying to work out where everybody's wee's going. 
I'm like, I don't think I want to be at the lower pool because all the wee goes down there. So why don't we start at the top? <laughs> You're shocking. It's a long way to walk to get your towel though. Yes, it is. Can True. Float back up. Oh, oh, can float back, back up. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's holy, holy, yeah. holy, check it out. <clears throat> The middle pool is a lot nicer to look at. The middle pool? Yeah. Mm. This is cool. Here we are at the middle pool less people and much more space here so I think we might jump in here. Mm. Rock it all, we're scary low. Freshwater crocodiles. Management practice reduces the risk of saltwater crocodiles and cool. That's all we like to hear. Fluctuating levels of potentially harm from what this crocodile can be as things occur in this. Okay. Alright. Watch me though go crazy about how cold it is. Oh, nice wedgie pick, mate. <laughs> is it too cold? It's um it's not hot. <laughs> You're a weirdo. The water was beautiful, so highly recommend this place. The only issue today is school holidays and a million people, but still. Come here when it's not school holidays and you'll have a blast. And bring an inflatable unicorn <laughs> or a pool noodle. Yeah. All right, maybe. How do you rate Berry Springs? Um, I rate it's, it's, it's a full. 4.5. 4 yeah. More, more falls would be better. More was, falls? There was one fall, and it's not a very big one, but it's super busy, so definitely come out of school holidays. Out of school holidays or early in the morning or late yeah. in the afternoon. It's so pretty, it's a must do. Alright, here we are. Today is uh, Friday in Darwin, and it's also Northern Territory Day or Territory Day. So that's the only day on the calendar where you're allowed to buy fireworks. Sorry, I just washed my hair. Um, we've been a bit quiet the last couple of days because uh, since arriving in Darwin, we've just had some work to do on cars. So uh, my ARB fuel tank that split has now been replaced. Uh, big shout out to ARB Darwin. They were excellent uh, at helping us out with that. And got the car serviced at Darwin Mazda. So um, everything's good and ready to go for the final leg of our big adventure that we're on at the moment but um, looking forward to tonight well we're going to go and buy some firecrackers because it's you can firecracker it's night firecracker tonight. night so hopefully we can bring you some absolutely hectic footage because Darwin already feels hectic but um, with firecrackers it's going to go next level looking yeah. forward to it but the weather's not that great so ah she's right mate it'll be okay you don't need you don't need good weather for firecrackers what have you been doing, darling? Just been buying stuff to blow shit up. Um, so, <laughs> the range that we've got today is a chrome 12 shot. It uh, is designed to shoot flaming balls and reports. <laughs> I don't know what reports means or who it reports it to, but that, uh, yeah, shoots 12 shots. We've got the Suicide Squad here. 25 shots Whee! and it is uh, heavy weight it actually is really heavy so the heavier they are the more gunpowder there is <laughs> next up we've got the backyard bash the backyard <laughs> bash 
has assortments of 25 shot barrages, 8 shot barrages, 25 shots, 7 shots, uh, and just some single shots in there as well. So, what does it weigh? Oh, it should be down the bottom. Uh, well, it no? says 1.4 grams. Oh, it's more like three quarters of a carton of beer, so 20 kilos gunpowder. <laughs> And uh, last but certainly not least, we've got our pink blowjobs. Ooh, um, nice. These are extreme noise rated. So, um, <laughs> yeah, good times here in Darwin. We've already heard our first eruption of fireworks, which may be a little bit against the regulations. It's only 3 p.m., but um, it's going to get loose. It's going to get so loose. We are at Crocodilus Park where you can get croc meat barbecue packs. Yeah. We've had to park out on the road because it's school holidays. We thought the day after Cracker Day to be a bit quiet, but obviously not. The weather's not the greatest for Darwin, but here we go. Good time. Yeah. I think it's a male. We've been incubating him at 32 degrees, so if it's higher or lower, you get females. Yeah, we've heard that actually. Oh, he's asleep, doing a good job. Yeah, I'm looking after him. He's wide awake. He's doing very good at holding him. Yeah. <laughs> he's only got one eye open, actually. Oh, has he? Yeah, he's got one eye closed. So that's his underwater eyes. Well, they have three eyes, actually. They have one that they protect, and then they have a pair of goggles as well, so they can see us from underwater. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, he likes that. No. Look at his ears. Thank you. These little slits just in behind yeah, his eyes. Yeah, what his ears. Oh, look. Just there. Oh, wow. Just his little nostrils. So if we were to tape that up, it would actually kill him. That's oh, where he breathes. Yeah. Oh, this yeah. is where their little brain is, right just there behind that. Yeah, they've got a tiny little brain, hey? The males have the size of a walnut and a girl the size of an M&M &M peanut. Oh, wow. Beautiful. And they use 80 to 90% of their brain all at once, where us humans are only use about 10 to 20%. Yeah, that, yeah. Look at his eye open. Oh, yeah, is that nice? Look at him. Oh, he's beautiful. Dee's the crocodile whisperer. <laughs> Alright, your turn, Brito. Okay. Ready, Brito? Get in there. 300. Yeah. And 400. Oh, you like that, do you? Oh, what are you doing? Does he like that? Oh, look at him. Oh, my God. Alright. <laughs> give Brito a go. Oh, Pressure's on now. Got it. Oh, I like the beer. Here, go over here. What? <laughs> oh, here. Look at this. Have a go at this bloke. 
he would be. Oh, their girlfriend and boyfriend. Look at that fella. Yeah, I got a pretty good surprise that morning. Oh, oh, he's going, he's going for it, he's going for it. Oh! oh. Kids, come right up, come right up to the fence, they can't get you from here. Oh. So if he's really keen, he can get his back legs out of the water, believe it or not. Oh. Need a compression in his jaw. That noise you heard, that's all the air coming out of this door. It's a bit like packing your hands. They measure that 3,700 psi. So that's about three tons coming down the top of your arm. And the little one's coming out of the water. These guys are alligators. They're quite ugly actually. Yeah, but I don't think they're quite as dangerous either. Oh, oh! What are you doing that for? Cleaning his teeth. Or her teeth. Oh, what did you say? Oh, 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 my God. Back to cleaning my teeth. Bizarre. Beautiful feathers. Look at them. Oh, see, look, he's a bit mangy up the top. You're a bit mangy. Oh, she said, Who did you say was mangy? They're not lying. Well, that was Crocodilus Park. How many stars, mate? Oh, three. Three? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Would you give it three? Three. Out of five? Yeah. Three. Yeah, they oh, had... I would have said two and a half, but... <laughs> yeah, it's a bit run down, a bit old. They've got I... a nice variety of animals, but I don't know whether the animals are all very happy. Mmm. I don't think any animal in captivity is happy though. No, they seem to be stressed. Hope, hopefully the conservation side of things is what absorbs most of the entry fee. Um, there were lots of kids having fun though. So, like I guess these sorts of things are always different when you're a kid. So, yeah. worth a look. Just don't get your hopes up too much. <laughs>